informarte sobre nuestra política de privacidad y el ejercicio de... Hello everyone, I'm Adriana and in today's video Leonardo is going to repair a SIM card reader with damaged pads. We'll work with this Samsung Galaxy J3 which has suffered a good fall. Apart from the broken screen, the SIM card reader number one is damaged. We use a thin plastic pick guitar to extract the middle case. Before starting any type of repair, it's convenient to remove the battery connector. Very carefully, we retire the motherboard. Here we can appreciate the strong blow that the device has received. We extract the SIM card reader using a hot air station with 380 Celsius degrees and 50% air. I apologize because I forgot to press the recording button when I extract the SIM card reader. This distraction has an explanation. After the fall, the client tried to remove the SIM tray on good or bad way. So he pulled up the two pads and the eight components of the motherboard. I have measured all these components and we have seven capacitors and a diode. The diode seems fine, only a piece of glass is pulled off. So let's find a solution for this device. In the first step, we use some flux and the soldering wick. We use the soldering iron at 350 Celsius degrees and in this way we clean the old solder lid. In today's repair, we'll use these Cooper pads. They can't miss in your workshop and you can find it in different sizes on AliExpress. We scrap the pads of the motherboard so that the solder lid grip better. We clean the surface using a piece of cotton and contact cleaner. We use a little flux in each point. It's time to apply a little solder paste. In order not to throw too much, we'll use the type of the surgical scalpel. If you have any tricks about how to repair the SIM card reader, please leave it on the comments. In this way we can help each other and don't be afraid to provide solutions. Thank you. We apply heat using the air station with the smallest nozzle. We need to apply 300 Celsius degrees and 20% air. We repeat the same process with the other broken pad. We clean the area well using a piece of cotton and contact cleaner or isopropyl alcohol. In this step, we can use UV mask or red colored heat mask. So, if we apply it all over around, the pad remains firm.
We use a heating station at 150 Celsius degrees during 1-2 minutes. We apply a little bit of flux and we place a copper pad. A little solder paste and with the help of an air station we solder the pad. I feel nauseous, believe me. We have applied 300 Celsius degrees and 15% air. Just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for, believe me. Take into your hands a plan your own. We continue to consolidate the pad using the red mask. The truth is there are a thousand ways to rebuild pads on the motherboard. In each video I'll try to do it differently. It only matters the final result, that the pad is firm and it's working. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now. I won't stop till I wear the crown. Again, we apply 150 Celsius degrees during one or two minutes. Before soldering the SIM card reader, this step is very important. We have to measure the impedance on two pins. We have to measure it before and after repair. Here I leave you a trick. If you separate the metal part from the plastic part, it be easier to solder the pins, even if you don't have a lot of experience. We apply solder paste at 180 Celsius degrees. Are you willing to go Swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm pissed off at these fucking clowns Who were all taught they deserve it now It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now We use a hot air station at 300 Celsius degrees and 20% air In this step only, I try to consolidate the SIM card reader a little bit. We use a soldering iron at 350 Celsius degrees and solder wire to improve the soldering. I prefer to work it in this way so we can protect broken pads and not to apply a lot of heat with the station. If I would perform a normal repair, I would apply 350 Celsius degrees with the air station and that's it. This pad is ok, we don't need to resolder it. Feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of shit come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over, I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning. A very important step during this repair is the cleaning process. Hands can land your own brand and damn. I feel like no one takes accountability, they want the credibility, convincingly unwilling to put in the fucking hours it takes to get some... 
here, in this area, I have to solder the last pad. At the end, we sold the grounds to firm up the SIM card reader. I won't stop till I wear the crown. Now let's check the device. If it works correctly, we have to look for the capacitors from another motherboard. Like general rule, without these capacitors, the mobile has to work. I'm pissed off at these fucking clowns Who were all taught they deserve it now It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown I swear to God they don't let me down Guys, he was Leonardo. This was today's video. We hope you like it. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye. Comercial, grabaremos y analizaremos esta llamada. Puedes informarte sobre nuestra política de privacidad y el ejercicio de tus derechos.